Hello, my name is Steve Puckett, Director of Operations at R.H. Boyd, and I will be bringing the Bible study lesson for the week of March 28, 2021, titled, The Bearer of Bad News. Our text comes from 1 Kings chapter 18, verses 5 through 18, and can be found in the first quarter of adult Christian life. A great example of holy boldness is found in the prophetic works of Elijah's dealings with Ahab, the king of Israel. Ahab did evil in the sight of the Lord. The Lord caused a drought for three years by the words of Elijah. Elijah was the bearer of bad news, which was a risk even if he was a prophet of God. Kings despised hearing news that did not favor them even if it was from God. They would often take out their displeasure by killing the messenger. Elijah feared no one but God and spoke his words regardless of consequence. Upon seeing Elijah, Ahab called the prophet the troubler of Israel, no doubt reiterating the rumor about him that had circulated throughout the years, being the reason for the drought. Elijah called Ahab out publicly before his subjects, saying that Ahab had forsaken the commandments of the Lord and had followed the Baals. This scenario is playing out before our very eyes. Speaking the gospel truth is becoming more and more labeled hate speech because it contradicts public opinion. Like Elijah, we are troublers of the world. Public opinion has forsaken the commandments of the Lord. God's word is truth and designed to condemn sin and lead to His righteousness. The gospel is literally the good news of Jesus Christ, but saying so makes us the bearer of bad news. When we are bold for God, we will be able to see how bold God has been in preserving and providing for us along the way. Elijah had to battle it out with Ahab, and yet he was safe because he was on God's assignment. Elijah in many ways represents the quintessential prophet in Israel's history as he spoke boldly to the king and queen. Elijah could not be satisfied by the trappings of material wealth or cushy court positions. His call extended beyond what the king could provide him. Elijah knew his call ensured that he would be on the outside within certain circles. We will never be popular in public forums for speaking the commandments of God. And just as Elijah, we cannot be satisfied by material wealth or comfort in an uncomfortable world. We can be a great example of holy boldness, and that is a life of blessing worth living. Again, I'm Steve Puckett, and I hope you've enjoyed this week's video. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more of these videos, like the video, and comment below. And follow us on our social media channels at RH Boyd Co and on our website at www.rhboyd.com.